Sometimes pitchers identify the pitching coaches. Oh, that ball's jarred. In the left center, into the gap for extra bases. McLean watches it hop off the ball, and Campbell's rounding second. He's headed toward third. He'll be in there easily with a two-out triple. Some scenery, it's like... It's how a two-out walk. How many stories? Different look offensively, as we discussed. That's out to left. When pushing it toward left center, but Schubert makes a grab, and that ends the Texas first. Sit there and prepare yourself. And Schubert draws a one-out walk. This is this is about what you worked on all year. And Benz sort of fists that into left field, and that's a base hit. Down to second is Schubert, and it's first and second with one out. Now, if you look at a spray chart on Benz, freshman, and Sylvester hammers that into left field. That's a base hit. Schubert held at third, and the bases are loaded with one out in the second. He hit that ball too hard. Here's Marcus Brown. That's chopped to first. Out at second. No play at first. Now the runner breaking for home. The throw is in time. Binge out at the plate. That ends the Oklahoma State second, but the Cowboys do get a run. Here's Campbell, and that's down the left field line and headed toward the corner, and Campbell is going to get another extra base hit. He's into second with a two-out double. So Campbell now with a double and a triple so far tonight. Wins and a lot of wildfires in Oklahoma today, and that's ripped deep to center field. McLean back to the track, and that ball is gone. Well, I saw Gilmet hit one out the other night that he hit it out the left field, and I mean to tell you, he drove it out of town, and he just hit it somewhere in the neighborhood of 320 to hit it over that hitting eye. It's the fourth home run, home run of the year for Garrett Gilbert. Yeah, full leverage, front foot down. That's about as good as he can hit it. And I don't really know that that was wind aided at all. I mean, the reason they call it Stillwater is normally after six, it gets pretty still. Another and ball hammered. By Porter Brown into left center. McLean tracks it down, but Brown will be in to second with a two out double. So Texas with two runs here in the second. You have to understand that Ben Abrams at 52 is going to be. Now 53 for sure. O'Dowd pops that up. That's coming back toward fair territory, and it drops for a hit. Brown scores on the play, and that's a blue RBI single for O'Dowd. It's 3-1 to one Texas as the wind pushed that ball, goodness, maybe 20 or 25 feet out of foul ground and well into fair territory. Well, that's your shortstop's ball right there. The ball's blowing right into the shortstop. Third baseman had no clue. He just going back and... He's trying to protect the foul territory, but the shortstop was in dead sprint and ran right by it. And way too far for your left fielder to help you. Yeah, you're correct. He hasn't stolen one yet. And that's a strikeout. And that ends the Texas third, but the Longhorns score three. That's a little bit dangerous to go down the middle at 89. That's grounded into right field, and that's a base hit. So Thomas leads off the fourth, and that's the seventh Texas hit. That's a single. And that ball's out of here. Deep to right field, to the track, to the wall, and it's gone. Second home run of the year for Jalen Flores, and it's 5-1 Texas. And that's kind of what I'm talking about right there. You're making mistakes now up in the zone, and... You get a young guy like that, and he gets the ball right, right at the belt. Here's Dylan Campbell, who's already tripled and doubled. He lays down the butt. Abrams throws the first down in time, and Campbell continues his pursuit of the cycle. Now he only needs a home run. He's got a double, a triple, and now a butt single. Runner goes. Campbell down to second without a throw. Do we pitch around this guy? You know. That's popped up. Went carrying it back towards center. A little confusion there, but McLean makes a grab. Schubert came over and 
McLean hits that deep to left center. Back to the track and to the wall, and it is gone. A long home run for Nolan McLean, his eighth of the season, and it's a 5 to 2 Texas lead. There's a different sound when people like that get a fastball. And when he hit that, you just look up and see how far it went. There was no question it was a home run. I mean, it was a home run off the sound of the bat. Because when he gets extended and he uses the barrel, this, this is a major league array right here. Of course, we've seen him do this a bunch. And I mean, he'll hit him out of the stadium. I'm not just talking about out of the field of play. He hits him out of the stadium. So two out and Carson Binge hitting and he rips that down the right field line. That's fair and into the corner for extra bases. Binge hustling around first. He's in the second standing with a two out double. His second hit of the night. <laughs> Where, where's this guy hit the ball? Everywhere. Uh -oh. Sylvester. That's extended, but. Out to left, a shallow left. And Brown makes a play. Good. How about that? How about that? Coaching your best friend's son. Regio to Mendham, and that ends the Texas Six. So Drew Blake comes in. Kind of picking on that, that low ball. And Wolford hits that deep to right center to the track, to the wall, and it is gone! Off the top of the wall and out of here. Fourth home run of the year for Wolford. It's a 5-3 to three game. You can still see him kind of nursing that hamstring. Tell you what, that's that's why he was in a lineup right there, Dave. And of course, you're on the wrong side of the scoreboard. you got to got to keep him in a lineup and let him limp some more because you're still down by a couple. Pretty good extension. And he got it right where the wind could help him just a little bit. And of course he hit it 412 feet. Schubert hits that into right center field. That's a base hit. Schubert trying to go for two and the throw not in time. It's a two out double. Again, that's doing your homework. Second. And Binge rips that to third. Nice play by Powell. Over to first, and that ends Oklahoma State's bottom of the sixth. Big bender to him. There it is. That's deep to right field, back to the track, to the wall, and Binge up against the fence, makes a play, and Campbell just missed the home run he needed to hit for the cycle. There's one away. First of July, or? End of June. I mean, it takes a while for that ivy to grow. At Boise, he had a. Oh, and there's a ricochet. The throw to second is in time. A little pinball here in the top of the seventh. Grounded to third, off of Powell and into left field. Ackerson reaches with two away. And that's into right field. That's a base hit. Ackerson down to second. It's first and second with two out. Two outs, one ball, one strike to Wolford. And Wolford pops that up, and the wind may keep that in play. Gilmet behind the plate makes a play in the Cowboys' strand two. 5 3 Texas. And that's a walk to Daly. One for Thomas. Swing and a miss. He's out, throw to second. Double play. A strikeout throw out. One and two. And Schubert hits that. I think he got that. Out to left center field on the warning track. Brown makes a grab, and Oklahoma State has a one, two, three, bottom of the eighth. Backdoor slider and gets him ahead in the count. And, and that's past Wolford at third and into left field for a two out single. And he struck him out. So good work by. Isaac Stebbins headed to the bottom of the ninth. He's trying hard to get straight. That's ripped into left center field, and that's a base hit for Binge. Binge headed towards second. Here's the throw. It's not in time. It's a leadoff double for Carson Binge here in the bottom of the ninth. Here's another full count delivery, and that misses, and it's first and second with nobody out in the ninth. Of course, your nine holes hitting 350. Oh, he pops the bun up. And Brown is out. Here's a 2-2 pitch to Atkinson, and he strikes him out. And Reggio hits that 
way up in the air. Foul ground, first base side, off the top of the dugout. He's in trouble. 2-1 to Reggio. Is a 2-2 pitch, Morehouse to Reggio. It's a little nut. Back to the mound. Morehouse, through the first in Texas, wins the first game of the series 5-3 here in Stillwater over Oklahoma State.